In today's video, we are going to see the seed, its definition and structure. So let us see what is a seed. When we talk about a seed, when the process of fertilization takes place, what happens is the ovary turns into the fruit and the ovules become the, ov the seed of the fruit. So different fruits have different number of seeds. We have already seen this. Like a mango has just one seed whereas a guava fruit has a number of seeds inside it. So the seeds which are present inside fruits, we eat some of them while we don't eat some. But if you look at pulses and grains, example wheat, maize, gram, rajma, these are seeds which we consume. So you can see in the picture the different seeds which are consumed by us. So this diagram shows us a seed. Let us see the structure of a seed. Whenever we see a seed, it has an outer covering. This is a dicot seed. We are seeing the structure. So over here, if you open up the seed, you can see these two cotyledons. We see that the seed has a hard outer covering, which is known as the seed coat or it is also known as tester. And the seed contains a baby plant inside it, which is known as the embryo. So, embryo is the baby plant which is present inside the seed. Now, an embryo consists of a plumule and a radical. And the radical grows to become the root, whereas the plumule will grow to become the shoot in a plant. And the leaves which grow in the seed along, like when the seed starts growing, the leaves or the cotyledons help the plant in preparing the food. So, the cotyledons are also known as the seed leaves. Now, depending on the number of cotyledons, a plant or a seed can be classified as a monocot or a dicot. So because a dicot seed has two cotyledons, when the plant germinates, you will see that it has two leaves. Whereas when a monocot seed germinates, it has one single leaf. And even the, even the seed will have just one cotyledon. Therefore, in a monocot plant, only one embryonic leaf emerges, whereas in a dicot plant, two embryonic leaves emerge when the plant starts germinating. So, in monocot seeds, there is just one cotyledon. It has fibrous roots. An example of some monocots are corn, wheat, barley, etc. In the same way, if we see dicot seeds, they have two cotyledons and the root is tap root system. And these seeds will grow up into trees mostly. Examples of dicot seeds are sunflower, green, pea, green, green beans, peas, tomatoes, etc. So in this diagram, you can clearly see the cotyledons. So this is a seed which has started germinating. The radical has developed into roots. And you can see that the plumule or the shoot is still inside. Then the plant grows and it has two leaves which are present over here. The seed leaves which are also known as the cotyledons. As the plant progresses and grows further, these are the cotyledons and these are the new leaves which have come out. So you can clearly see the cotyledons present in the leaf. So this is all about the seed and its structure. In the next video, we will see the germination of seeds.